Hey guys, and welcome back to Tomaldi. Today we're going to be reviewing a £3.50 mechanical keyboard I found in CEX. Uh, that's a store in the UK, £3.50, $5, something like that. But I got mechanical keyboard for a super cheap price. Got my CEX bag, see how it is. Ooh. Ooh. So I was super surprised when I saw this. £3.50 for a whole mechanical keyboard. I'll show you the receipt there so you can see it's indeed £3.50 and the funnier thing I found of you in the UK you might like this is it's by Asda so a £3.50 Asda mechanical gaming keyboard from CEX this just keeps getting bigger so I was like we're out uh, so wrecked me and my other friends but after we saw this we're like I have to buy that review on YouTube uh, here's Ben's review of it review of the keyboard Mid. And yeah, so that's what Ben thinks of it. But um, yeah, I've not really tried this thing out yet. So I thought I'd do it for YouTube. So let's open this little box and see. So it says, let's see what it says in the box actually. Kind of game on key, mechanical gaming keyboard, raise your game, plug and play, illuminated, adds the tech. Um, and I did actually look this keyboard up online and it costs £40, I believe. So getting this for £3.50 is a steal. I must say as well, before I open it, it feels rather heavy. And the fact that of it feels heavy, that's a good thing. It's probably good build quality because it means it's metal or something. So there's the keyboard. It is second hand, so it's not in the box anyway. And yeah, there we go. Um, I must say on first impressions, very, very good build quality. But like, there's no like flex in the keyboard there. Um, the keys feel quite nice. It looks nice as well, actually, surprisingly. And yeah, it feels nice and hefty, full metal design, I guess. Yeah, looks fabulous. Sounds nice. Here the keys. Anyway, uh, let's plug it in and see what it looks like plugged in. Okay, so I've just got my own keyboard out of the way. I have a close look at this thing. Move the rubber band. Let's see. So it looks nice. It's got all the media keys up at the top. Very nice build quality, as I said already. It's got. Uh, got only one size for the feet which is a bit of a bummer so it's not really adjustable or anything but this feels fine at this angle yeah let's plug it in and see what the light looks like oh that's quite nice lighting it's got numb lock on already let's turn that off yeah very nice lighting so there's a little user manual with it it tells you how to change the lighting it's uh equal so function and insert where's insert I always forgot to find this key. Oh, uh, insert, sorry. So that changes the backlights. Okay. So it's for RGB, I think. Okay, no, it's not. So it's a couple of different rows. So it's red, blue, orange, green, white, purple will be RGB. But these lines on the side do change colour they are for the RGB which I actually quite like looks very nice let's change, turn the light off and see how it looks with that it looks rather nice in the dark uh, the colour changes along the sides here as you can see down here it's changing but on the uh, on the actual keyboard it is just static which is a shame so uh, yeah that's weird um, I'm going to get up a word document quickly let's do word I'm not a very quick typer, so I'm not going to do like a speed test or anything, because I'd just be a bit unfair. Google Chrome instead, I can do some, uh, I can do some, um, what's it called? Oh, what's the Google Chrome thing called? I forget. So notes, no, docs. There we go, let's get some docs up. Go to docs. Okay, let's go, hello, yes, yes. From oldie gaming reviewing the Asda 3.50 gaming keyboard. Okay, I know I can't spell. Oh, I spelled it all right. Okay, well, it feels nice. £3.50, this is a steal. The keyboard feels really nice, actually. Um, if you're if someone that's fast at typing, I presume you could type a lot faster. But um, I'm not that person, so I'm going to try out some gaming. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you can see me. So I just tried this keyboard out and some gaming and some typing. <laughs> it's really good. Like, really, really good. Or at least for the price. I still prefer my um, G915, but for £3.50, yeah, this should not be £3.50. I think uh, CX must have buggered up when they uh, done their stock with this one, because it's a £40 keyboard, got £3.50. I got a bargain. So if you ever see um, Asda Tech gaming keyboard, it's actually decent. I would recommend buying this. So um, yeah, if you need a cheap keyboard from Asda, get this. And if you see one for £3.50 at CX, even better, 100% buy it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.